Hi folks, Rick here. Welcome to my channel. There. It's in a different spot. I couldn't tell if it was on, so that guy thankfully came over and said it was recording. You never know for sure. So, pretty good day. We get a uh, second place today. Uh, it was second place on the first lap and just stayed there the whole race. So really good. Uh, track was really sketchy on some of these hills. Uh, the condition was really good in in the woods. It was a little greasy, and the hills were just really slick. A lot of carnage, but. I get a good uh, start here. I think I'm about third, uh, what I think going in there. We'll see. I think I got a guy coming up on the inside of me, yeah. So maybe more in the fourth area. the first time I'm on this property here and it, it's, it's a little bit slower here this first lap. A lot of carnage. Uh, the track is really tight. Um, got a lot of off-camera stuff on it so be careful for that. And then in the woods here you'll see the, the lines are just really shiny. They're just really slick. So you got to watch out there going around the corners there. It's real easier to give it the gas and your, your uh, rear end slides out on you. But Pretty fun overall. But this is a lot of really hills in here. Uh, they had a lot of bridges like that little one there, which was nice. But I'll try 
try to point them out, there's a couple times you're right, right next to like a cliff. If you got off or slid off, boy, you'd be in trouble. Just hanging in here with the group. Trying to stay up as best I could. out there not too much or didn't get not sure how some long some of these go I took a different line here both of those ones sucked I, I went the other way the other time it wasn't any better but it's really dense and it was really hard to see um, there's like four pro hills and I couldn't find uh, you know the go around at all on the darn things uh, I think it was lap two Someone had crashed on the on the main line, so there are people actually point me down the, the, the way, uh, the go around. So I took it that second lap, but the third and fourth lap, I never could see the track. I just ended up taking all the hills. They were sketchy. Tight spot there. Not a lot of room on the track. Off the track's a lot of grass. There's a lot of stuff in that grass. You got to be careful. But not much room for passing here. Just kind of staying up with the group here as best we can. These downhills, there's no brakes. You just got to make sure you're straight and you got good steering there. You don't want to hit that post. But here comes the first bottleneck. It was kind of aggravating a little bit there. You see this guy going up over the hill. I'm not sure if that's what caused some of these accidents on the other side. Not by that guy particularly, but you'll see here uh, a, a guy take a header off the side of this little ditch on the right. But now, you know, everyone's got to think they can get past this bottleneck. And it just makes the bottleneck ten times longer than normal. If they would have just relax we had all been through this damn thing already but everyone's just got to pile in and make it worse there's somebody here watching really quick on the right right there look at upside down I, I just don't know what's going on here thank god the guy got up and he was okay but i got these four by fours plowing in but it's just making stuff worse we could have already been through this stuff already just two seconds of patience would have saved us 45 seconds or a minute here but everyone's up, everyone's all right, and we're back on track. But now I've got a whole another group of riders right behind me there. Uh, it's a younger group, uh, and they're, they're just this section right here. Uh, it's an upcoming uh, straightaways here. I could just hear behind me here. I'm just that guy there almost you know, snuck in really close to me. It's just I don't want to get run into. It's not worth it. We're going across here, just trying to get rid of these guys. Uh, there's a big hump or a, a ditch right on the other side of this road then right here it's like the cow manure spot man it stunk right there but yeah i got that group right behind me it's going to continue to let them guys by Another bridge. Yeah, they really done a lot of work on the bridges on this thing because it would have been a lot of that stuff you'd have just been stuck there. There's actually a set of bridges coming up. It's, it's uh, looked like a couple of life rafts tied together, and on uh, I think it was the third lap, they actually started floating down the river. So that was a little bit uh, challenging to get across that section, but they got it fixed really quick, thankfully. I think I'm pretty much done with that back group there and, and get back going when I'm going here. This section right here was just all whoops. It's kind of weird for a field section, but it was almost like it was all sand. Really rough right here. in there. I typically, you know, just don't go as fast as I can on some of these things or on the first lap. I just don't know what to expect. So, a little slower on the first lap. You hang around for the second lap, things pick up quite a bit. So just take
look at this line right here. I think that was a go around. Now that I've seen it on the film to the left, I think that's the go around. Um, I, I didn't see it really until I was watching this video. I, I think that might be on the second lap that people pointed me that way. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure. But another bridge there. The pro hills on, on this one, they're extremely steep at the top. Uh, they're often roots at the top, and then of course, for whatever reason, there's always got to be two trees you got to snake through. This here was a disaster area. Uh, it's really steep here, right at the very top. It's not a very big hill, but right at the top here. I, I've got another line here that I want to take, and these guys start to go, so I'm going to end up just falling in. But right at the top, this guy pushes his damn bike right in front of me. I almost ran right into him. And it's like, this thing is steep and my bike is starting to teeter backwards like it's wanting to flip over and right behind me is a darn tree i can't go backwards that poor guy's stuck i've got a horde of people coming up here and i'm just wedged i'm trying to go forward but i'm kind of high centered a little bit so i'm i'll end up going backwards this kind of really aggravated the crap on me but, uh, thankfully i didn't run into that guy but i'm inching my way down i'm going to try to get uh, off this hill a little bit i'm kind of wedged you can see that tree behind me here got really no place to go so now I got my wheels cocked now I'm gonna see if I can just edge my way out here a little bit let this other group go I got the thing in second gear and I'm just inching along with the recluse trying to see if I can get traction I got out of there fine man I was aggravated over that I'm trying to get my drink tube going there I too much cuts in the swear I needed to get a drink. So back on it again here. A little bit of a stray. This is actually what turned out to be pretty good. It ended up being a big sweeper uh, right here. So it wasn't too bad, but again, my first time on here trying to figure out where the, the entrance to the woods is. Again, it, it was hard to see. And down these hills, man, it's just, there's no stopping. So you really got to just make sure you're, you're lined up well. So here's a really uh, you know, a tight section here again. It's very rough, very rutted. And you just gotta stay in here. You're hitting the bottom quite a bit. The corners are really deep. You gotta keep your momentum up. You know, and you know, here we go again. This is the name of the game. So this is one of the hills. You got people rolling down it, uh, getting stuck. The last thing I wanna do is get halfway up and have someone not make it all the way. As these things you see there if you look there there was someone rolling down the hill so I'm just waiting for that ideal spot and then I'm gonna go for it so I think now's the time I pick my I'm just going just take it third gear and get after it so yeah it was just like that on these hills and you, you darn sure had to have a good set of tires and some momentum to get up these things because it was very greasy and you know, they, again, it was, they, the things were sketchy. I didn't have any issues all day, and I'm thankful for that, but a lot of people was having some problems. So, really off camber section here. There's a couple of really off camber sections. Man, I had one time there, a uh, back end slid out, and it really jolted my back really bad, but thank, thankfully that went away. So look off to the left there is a pretty dip, big downhill area you got to watch out on. This isn't the, there, there's one spot where you're just, the, I didn't really notice it until I was watching it back on video, but there's a couple times you're riding like within a foot of a huge drop off. Other thing uh, I noticed on this one here, on the bottom of these hills, we must, without seeing the track map, it felt like we were just making circles. We must have been doubling back several times because there was people all over the place there. And I, I couldn't tell whether they were behind me or in front of me, but we just kept doubling back. So they really made good use of the track, done a good job on the layout. Yeah, so we're heading into this off camber section right here. There, there's a, it's a piece of part of it here. This is the first one here. Again, the ground's really greasy. Every time you go to give it the gas, it just wants to, your back end slides to the left and see they're going to catch a tree, catches the, the bank there, and so it's really rough there. Uh, and 
I think the second part here is, the, is a little bit worse than this one, but there's a couple spots here you're just going right here. It's hard to tell, but it's just pushing you toward these trees. You gotta really watch out in uh, your handlebars that they're wanting to grab those things. So I got through that section, and now we're back into another one here again. It's just really leaning to the left. There was a big drop off. All right, back out of here a little straight away again. Again, right off to the left, there is a huge downer. You know, stay off that. Look how steep that is right there. So let this guy go down here in front of me. A lot of roots right there, pretty slick. But uh, again, a lot of these things here, you'll hear the, on, on this video especially, if you listen to my bike, RPMs are down way low most of the time. I'm just trying to catch traction on this stuff here. So another, some more of this off camera stuff here. Try, trying to stay away from that tree right there. Another real off to the left you got to be careful on. Right there was really close. Uh, again, I didn't really notice that until I was watching it on the video. Here's really oh, tight right here. Just really got to try to get through these trees. It really got scraped up after a while. Another big downhill here. You can see it's just slick. I don't know how many bridges I've had here. Man, there's a bunch. I guess some of these little dips like this, they're just like a V-shaped at the bottom. Here we're coming up on a sand section here. I wanted to really rip this section here, and just right here, that little section right there is a huge dip. If you're really flying, you could probably jump that thing, but that just got worse and worse and worse. And here's a little water section here. You got a little uh, a top spot you got to stay on, but people were just buried in this thing here. Uh, you know, that guy there, thankfully I didn't run into his bike coming out of there, but I took a different line every lap. Every lap I went there, someone was stuck there. Uh, you just had to keep finding new ways to go. This area right here was really deep. Coming down in this little sand section here. This was an off camber uphill and it just, you can hear something here I hit there if you could listen to the video, but that area was a, uh, it just got really deep. You had to watch out. Going up this hill, that's a little funky one there. You're kind of at a leaning to the left and when you cross over the top, you lean to the right. Kind of on three wheels there for a little bit. First time over was like, uh oh. Then after that, there I knew I knew about it. It wasn't a big deal. I just keep after it. So this section here is just really rough. It's a lot of tight, just on one side of the bike to the other side of the bike. I kept stalling my bike too. That's it. When I, I got a problem there. I have a hard time with my boots. They end up catching the brake. Uh, and when I'm on the gas, yeah, you know, I got the clutch. I got a recluse, but when the recluse is engaged, you hit the brake really quick. That much will cause my bike to stall on me. And I just, I'm on one side of the bike to the other. I, I try to ride with my foot off the brake, but when I keep going back side to side, I must, I don't know how many times, or five or six times I stalled on this one right here, just because I'm on 
all over the bike there, and man, I was getting aggravated over it. Probably be here sometime, you'll hear me. First couple of times it not so bad, but after a while there, man, I was starting to cuss and swear. see here how thick this stuff is. There's like no visibility whatsoever on this track. You also see there my helmets you know, were, were kind of tilted down just a little bit as well because there, there's, there's not much visibility to looking out there so I'm really just kind of watching the track, watching the line and trying to stay in it there get off a little bit there's just trees and rocks and all sorts of stuff so really kind of a tricky racetrack you also see a lot of people I mean this is the first lap I don't know how many people we've seen off to the side already but a lot of carnage on this race I was grateful it wasn't me hit uh, on the second lap uh, is when I tagged it I went through uh, there was a mud pit. Here's my first stall. I think it's my first stall, but I went through a mud pit, and, and there was actually a, a path around the thing, and I never did see it until like the third or fourth lap. Uh, but I kept going through the mud pit. The first lap here, I went right through the second map. Uh, it was really deep, so I took a, a line slightly to the left, and it was just a massive rock down in there. I just smashed my whole front end in. You just, you just, it's really difficult to see uh, and, and see what's coming up. I think that was a lot of problem with the hills. I know when I was coming up on a lot of these hills, I just, you, you see people, there's people stopping, they're staring, you don't know what they're staring at. If someone's stalled out in the middle of the hill, or if someone's hurt, and you just kind of come up on it, and it's like, oh no, it looks like it's open, and I gotta, you know, get after it. So, here comes this bridge. Look at this thing. There's two great big uh, bridge sections there. And again, one of them, they start to float down the river here, uh, I think about lap three. This section here gets a little deep, and then we're up here. Uh, again, really slick area right here. Just stay on the gas nice and easy. Really makes it nice with this Raptor. You can just keep it in third gear, keep the RPMs low, and it just keeps going. You get good traction. That's kind of what I'm doing here most all through this race. Again, a lot of off-camber. This one's to the right. It's just really slick. Nice, no, no, you know, no dust, uh, no mud anywhere, other than uh, uh, going through the water in a, in a little small mud pit here and there. Um, it's just great. It was really greasy, but you're not getting flung with mud, and so it was pretty nice overall. section here kind of deep another bridge to go across not sure where to go here I was thinking on going straight get going here now you got people here again staring and stopping I think here one of these hills you can see someone actually tumble down so I don't know what everyone's looking at I'm just going for it um, it looked really bad to the right I don't think it was um, I, I don't know on that one there there was just looked odd. Uh, I just went up to the side of this one there, but it's just, you're just leaning clear off to the left. Man, it was steep right there. Another big dip. Go across and running down the top of this ridge again. off to the left, pretty deep over there. <coughs> kind of a down.
downhill. This was a bad line. They, they end up there. Um, somebody was standing there and ended up putting me off to the right. It was a much better line, but it all got tore up. It was it's again it's real off camber in that section. It just got really rutted and rough there. So the the second lap I went to the right side. It was nice, but I think uh, from memory there, future laps it just sucked no matter which way you went through that one. So. This is a real bad section. Uh, it's not so bad here. It was really rough, but people were stuck on this hill quite a bit. I ended up going to the left, uh, and then ended up going farther to the left. I, I think there on, might have been lap two, I, I, well, if you get that far on there, someone starts to pull out in front of me and I and get stuck, and so I end up really going off to the left, kind of created my own trail over there, but I didn't, again, it's just up and over. I didn't have any problems. Just stayed even on the gas, and uh, Kind of went up. So here's this best. So, so the left is actually the line. Um, so I don't know why. If I'd have seen that line, I would have went that way. And I don't hate going through those water holes. But that's the mud pit slightly to the left. Again, if you go make a left turn, is where the line's supposed to go. But if I went slightly to the left because there was a big hole uh, in the line I went through on the second lap, and to just to the left of where I was, maybe a foot is that massive rock, and you just can't see it. another hill shoot up this thing again it's just really slick and of course there you got to have a couple of trees there to navigate through just to make it entertaining but yeah not too much of a fast track unfortunately again I like fast tracks this one 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 of wasn't one of them, but still okay. I think that there was the first, uh, first overall in the PM class. It's A and PM in the same uh, race today there, but I think that, if I'm not mistaken, looks like the first place guy already. I was like on road 10, so I was got was quite a bit behind. So, so this is a hill here. This one really got sketchy. It just got deep there. Um, there's a, a line to the right you can go to. It's not all that good either. I think on the second lap I took the line to the right. And it's like, well, this isn't any good. So I think I swapped back and took one of the other lines. It just wasn't a, They all sucked on that particular hill. If you listen there, there's people all over the place, but there's no one in front of me and no one behind me. It's just this is where we just keep doubling back. I, at least I feel that way. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I keep going in circles. But we're plowing along here. I think this is the section here. So they're pointing me off to one side here. But I think here if we look, I think you'll start to see a bunch of people come across the track. This is the section here. Now. So one of these little hills I come up, some, there's a bunch of people come across. I don't know if they decided to take a little bit of a track shortcut or what, but uh, that's fine. People can do what they want. It must be coming up farther. I thought it was that one. But there's these, uh, again, the, the, those bottom of these little dips are really steep. Let's take, kind of going through them, rip up this hill again. A lot of this track, I tell you, it looks the same. Even some of the hills look the same. So right there, there goes one guy coming out of the bushes. There was a couple, uh, at least one or two before him. That's why I'm looking. Where the hell did they come from? I don't know if I was made a wrong turn somewhere, but yeah. They kind of came out of nowhere, and now they're in front of me. Obviously climbing a, uh, a hill here. This one here, wasn't too bad. It, it really got rutted. You just had to, you know, keep your speed up and stay even on the gas and, you know, over you go. It wasn't really a big deal. But it did get deep. People were just, I don't know if they're in there just gunning it and digging trenches, but if you, if you just stay on the gas even there, you don't have any problems. 
You also don't do any spinning, you just keep traction and keep going. So, trying to avoid hitting the trees there. It's wanting a little bit off camber downhill. It's kind of throwing you to the left a little bit. Kind of get through this little rough section. Yeah, that was pretty good here. So up on the top here a little bit. Again, we're on a straightaway here. Uh, not familiar with it. Don't know how long it is. Don't know if there's any kickers. So I'm just kind of going here, trying to pay attention to what's going on. And, uh, you know, I get at more speed the next lap. Right, right now I'm just kind of feeling it out a little bit. I got someone coming up behind me here, so there he goes. So overall it's pretty smooth, so you can really get some speed going on here. Wasn't too bad. One time I uh, got overshot one of those corners a little bit, but... Rough section right here. Now we're back out of the woods, or uh, a little straightaway again. The section here is the one I think I off, uh, overshot once here on one of the laps. But just to the last little bit, so ripping along here, kind of just trying to decide where we're supposed to go in at, and uh, we're, we're right coming up to the end. So. Appreciate you hanging in there and watching it. Um, we go down just this hill here and we'll be on the star line. So thanks for watching this. Catch lap two, it's a lot faster. Also, I get into lap, lap two here. I think I must, I don't know if I swallowed a bug, but I started coughing. You can hear me coughing here, but I started coughing so bad I had to pull off to the side. It was kind of funny. I just couldn't catch, couldn't, couldn't catch my breath and I couldn't hack the thing up. So that's it so that's lap one uh, in second place and i'll stay there for the day so take 24 24 take care and uh, enjoy the second lap
damn it.
Thank you.
24. 